In the world of physics, we are very familiar with the names and work of Bohr, Fermi, Boltzmann, and many more men. Yet we don't hear much about Lisa Meitner, who worked and studied with many of these men and also made great contributions to the field of physics, but doesn't receive the same amount of recognition. Lisa was born in 1878 in Vienna, Austria. Growing up, she had a great interest in science and mathematics, but at that time, women were not allowed to attend public universities. It wasn't until 1897 that women were allowed in higher education. So, in 1899, at 21 years old, Meitner began her secondary education, which she completed eight years of schooling in just two years. She then went to graduate school at the University of Vienna, where she became the second woman in Austria to receive her doctorate in physics in 1905. After getting her degrees, she began doing research with chemist Otto Hahn in Germany. In their first few years of working together, Hahn was paid for the work he was doing, when Meitner did the same work alongside Hahn but was not being paid. She eventually did start receiving a salary after a few years, but she was still being paid significantly less than her male counterparts. Regardless, Meitner carried on with her work, and her and Hahn worked together for 30 years studying radioactivity and nuclear decay, making lots of discoveries. Meitner eventually went on to do her own research in the 1920s at the Friedrich Wilhelm University and became the first female physics professor in Germany. She eventually had to flee Germany in 1938 due to her Jewish heritage, and she relocated to Sweden to safely continue her research. Around a year later, she reunited with Hahn to continue some unfinished work they had done on nuclear decay. This work led to their discovery of nuclear fission which is when the nucleus of an atom splits into two smaller and lighter nuclei. About five years later, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded to Otto Hahn for this discovery, and Meitner received no credit despite having worked alongside Hahn on the discovery. This mistake was never acknowledged or fixed despite many people speaking out against it. However, Meitner continued on with her work in teaching and went on to win a long, long list of awards for her work and discoveries. And in 1992, the 109th element was named Meitnerium in her honor. Meitner contributed lots of findings to the world of physics, and she deserves the same amount of credit and recognition as the men that she worked alongside.